Hello, hello, I am Darkness, and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. We're on episode three. There are new entries in our codex I wanted to go over simply because they kind of clear up some of the things that I actually realized uh, that I was glancing over and I wasn't quite putting together. Kind of like why Cobblepot was so dead set on uh, getting back at the Wayne family and I thought it had something more indirectly to do. I don't I don't think I put together in my head that uh, the reason that Cobblepot wants to get back at it uh, is because may I guess I just brain farted for a second. Mayor Hill claimed he robbed the very land, uh, uh, Thomas Wayne uh, robbed the land Wayne Tower is built on from the Cobblepot family. Yeah, that'd be a good enough reason for him to have a uh, uh, part in this revolution. So Alfred is more like, hey, what else does he know? Um, corruption stories are weakening Harvey's campaign. Um, so relationships mean most. This guy... Um, Certainly starts to explain why Penguin is going after the Wayne estate. Uh, his tower was built on Cobblepot family's yard. Um, he, she was warned. Um, I'm assuming it has something to say with uh, she's a good cop. So, uh, he's dead. So, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, nose for news. I didn't give her anything. No, I did not. I'll give her something later. Um, after what happened inside the GCPD's own headquarters, it's apparent that Gordon and his department are going to need all the help they can get. Whoever dragged Montoya and got her to kill Falcone did right under Lieutenant Snow's. Um, and Penguin. I introduced Penguin to the Bat. Not surprised he would be a fan, as strange as that might seem. The Penguin is obviously working on some bigger plan, but Selena is the only one in immediate danger. Uh, that's not true. He, he kind of killed some people, uh, like in front of everyone. So, now we see that. And by the way, something else that's interested me, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to get right into the game after this. Choices. Um, after time, like, um, I, I thought my choices were pretty much, and the choices were pretty much 50-50. As time has gone on and more people have played this game, because I realized that my choices that I saw were um, after only, like, it had been out for just a few hours. So now that it's been out for weeks, um, only 32% of people, 33% uh, of people played uh, or saved Harvey. But I guess everyone knows what happens to Harvey. So if you do not save Harvey, if you save Selena, Harvey turns into Two-Face. He gets a half of his face burned off. Uh, that was told to me after I made my choices and whatnot. So there's a reason people might be choosing that. So now that I know that, I'm gonna go into the next episode. I don't know how that'll play out though now, um, with this happening. New World Order, with Gotham on the brink and Bruce under fire. A new generation of supervillains rise to prominence and threaten to overturn the traditional institutions of power. Yeah, he looks pissed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it with that one. Previously on Batman, the Telltale series. It's probably gotta be a bit janky trying to do the flashback. Always Bob is. Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the They're waiting for you in hell! Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. Well, that answers my thing. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Is it part of the dialogue? I got... What would Harvey think? The two of us working together. Are we alone? Let's get out of here. I'm gonna tap that. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. If you decide to kill people, does so, sorry, Gordon still say that? And gents, as you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Uh, we need a new moderator. You there! Yes! You. Thank you for volunteering! Voluntold. My downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. 
Mr. Dent. <laughs> Thank you. Ouchies. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Yes and no. This one seems to actually be more tailored than other Telltale games, but they are getting progressively bigger budgets and better at what they do and whatnot, but... Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election... Bruce! Finally! A friendly face. He's still being held for observation. Meanwhile... It's good to see you. Hmm. Oh, congratulations, Mayor Dent. How does it feel? Oh, it would feel better if I were out of here. I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. <clears throat> every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Yeah, I've been banging her, so that's a no-go. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Maybe she just saw me being a coward. Hmm. Well, that surprises me. You two seemed... friendly. Yeah, I thought so. But this disappearing act seems to say otherwise. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be. I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. I couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. I mean, he's the reason I'm sitting here. Yeah, I can. I can still hear him laughing. What they did to Hill, to the moderator. I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. Batman stopped them from killing you the other night, but they will try again. I won't hide from them, Bruce. The tonight's speech, they'll know where I stand. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy. To go slow. I mean, that's impossible, right? Not gonna be able to take it easy. Mm. How am I supposed to do that? We all have demons, Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot, Hill admitting to having both of them killed, it's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. This just proves that I never really knew him. He was just hiding who he really was. I'm sorry. I know you'll pull through this. <sighs> Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign. I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. Hmm. Thanks, Harvey. I appreciate that. I'll make it up to you. Harvey will remember that. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one <laughs> way to get the guy's attention. And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. You can... you can stay if you want. It's, uh... it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. He just needs to talk to me. 
Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. Trying to be honest. You keep your head up, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce. See, the only real thing in Telltale games is that you truly have a, um, a say and a connection in. Where he just got mad. I'm assuming that if he were two-faced about it right then, that that mad look would mean a lot more. Um, the only real thing that you have control over is actually your response and your own reactions and how people react to the things you say. Six but not really the story Isle, itself. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad I got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Not a bad idea. I'm impressed. I have good ones every now and then. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. What happened? Bring me up to speed. Right. Renee Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I, mean, I never heard of them before. And that debate. Never mind how this began. We have to focus on ending it. If you've got any bright ideas how to do that, I'm all ears. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? This is Steve okay? Bloom. I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. <laughs> Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? My butler. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance. But seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. This Lee's voice! sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. Like X-ray peering. That's Lee Everett nice from work. The Walking Dead. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. That's Lee Everett! Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? I'm probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Hmm. Let's listen. Barrels of this stuff to transfer. And not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight. So, it's gotta be done. You wanna argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! Dinner! I... Uh, let's, let's listen to this. What do you keep looking at? That car's been behind us since the hospital. My God, is this guy trying to drive us off the road? Just drive faster. What the... Oh, damn it! Like I said before, usually in Telltale games, 
All you have real control are, over are the reactions your character has, and the reactions other people have to your dialogue, and they will treat you a little different, but the main plot points will still be hit. With that said, they've come a long way, and Batman seems to be something that they're kind of trying to change it up even more than they are with Season 3 of The Walking Dead. And uh, so I can't count on that anymore. I'm so used to that kind of idea of when you're making choices that, you know, you kind of make either choice and it sends you down the same road, but I don't think that's how it's going anymore. So, um, I, I, I'm, I'm hesitant. Um, I would say uh, of the two of them, Harvey is more important to protect. Um, as he doesn't have any protection with him. I'm headed over to Dent. Your guys are gonna have to handle Montoya. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Yeah. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. New World Order. NWO, anyone else remembering uh, NWO for wrestling? That made me old. Oh. Wolf Pack in the house. Oh! We gotta hurry. Batman's on his way. Relax. We'll be ready for him. Listen, I don't want any trouble. You're too late, Dent. <laughs> the hell out of that. Woo! Yep. Get behind me, Deborah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. Do I get to hit something more? You think I'm scared of you? Yes. Me where your leader is. What are you planning? That all depends on you, Batman. Huh? Don't make me hurt you. Start talking, and I'll hand you over to the police in one piece. Go ahead. There's nothing the cops can do that we won't know about, including every time Gordon uses you as his errand boy. Everyone all right? Yeah, you? Sorry, dumb question. Hmm. This is the second time you've helped me. Thank you. It's absolute chaos out there. He's clipping through his cape. The children of Arkham chose one hell of a night to strike out. Gotham is lucky to have you as mayor. I appreciate your vote of confidence. With you and me working together, we can fix this city. I'll call us a cab. Batman, be safe out there. The mayor's on your side. Hmm. Heads up, they got three black and whites headed for the handoff. Gordon's with them. No sounds getting in there, and his cape seemed to just get in there with the quickness, like it was taped to his butt. That no fluttering cape for once is all all over the place all the time. Are you all right? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on the construction site. It's called the rats. Bringing it up now. Stay down. We're coming to you. Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there. On my way. He 
shouldn't have even been here, Lieutenant. I did this! Shouting about it isn't gonna do him any good. Sure could have used your help ten minutes ago. Nice work. Just stroll in to survey the damage. That's what we need. I was out there saving the mayor's life. I, I didn't know. Tell me what happened. They got away. Took one of our guys with them. Go ahead. Say it. This is my fault. I followed them. I got ambushed. And now one of our own is stuck with those monsters. This isn't over. We'll find the children of Arkham and your missing officer. They won't get away with this. This is Gotham, not some fairy tale. The good guys never win in the end. Oh, what are you... I'm gonna make this right, no matter what it takes. Uh-oh. Wow, you can't just... what? We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon to command. Anyone there? Command in here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? It's been compromised. Command! You copy! Wow, there's a USB port on the bottom. Cool. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. We're gonna have to communicate via cloud shadows. So if you could try to keep that encrypted best you can, not let other people read our cloud. We keep information in the cloud, 21st century. Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Can the spinning Alpha, cloud go away, I'm please? I'm sending over ahead. evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police Lucius aren't able Malfoy. to communicate... <sighs> we'll fix this, Alfred. We'll make it right. We just have to stay focused. Yeah, I admire your determination, sir. Just be careful, Bruce. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? That's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. Woof. Okay. Cloud, go away! Just upload it already. Wow, I got stink eye all over the place. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. What? No! The game crashed! Oh, well, that's some bullshit. All right, hold on. I'm going to get back into it. Hold on. Hold on one second. That's bullshit. Hold on. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh, I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Hey, how's that working Must out for you? Seems silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Yeah, I, uh, I miss them too. Both of them. I know. Every day, I wish a father was still with us. He was wise beyond his years. And Martha, she was such a delight to have around. Does everyone see the black thing in his I've ear? I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... 
I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. Then go tell that to the board. What do you think I'm trying to do, Bruce? I'm not your enemy. You should remember that. Don't forget who your allies are, Mr. Wayne. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Ah, oh, that's gotta be an infuriating position. Definitely not on the scale that he's on, but uh, I'm, I've definitely been through that. Uh, unlock the secret entrance. Oh, 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 yeah. Is anyone here? I'm just gonna take a, a nap under my desk and uh... Oh, no one's here? Cool. We're gonna go in this hole in the wall. Hope no one saw me. Retinal scan. That cannot be a comfortable thing to be in his ear. It just can't be. That looks god awful. I mean, it's not about a looks thing, but it looks like it is not fun. It's good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. That is true. I know the cave is well equipped. But all of this is owned and paid for by the company. I don't need to worry about the board. I've got plenty of money. We'll make do. Uh, plenty now, but still not enough for all of this. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? <laughs> it's Wayne Tech, Bruce. He looks a bit, uh, um, As you know, Wayne constipated. Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh... Build a back door into that tech? You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Uh, bad news. They didn't. Uh, no shortage no of hack. bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. No hack. Well, you see this back door they're using? I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started. You needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains. How did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. They liked the Not back door. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Well, I hear if you put on underwear, it locks up the back door easily. Check for upgrades and then hide your back to uh, bat tech. Okay. Hold on. 
So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Alright, watch the news. What's going on up here? I'm just gonna mess with Newly this TV. Newly elected Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Hmm. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. Next Hell time, yeah. we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures citywide. All right. Oh, Tiffany's really taking after you. Look at this Old photograph! Luke, stubborn as always. <laughs> I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. They die next. Uh, oh, that's bad tech. Okay. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Man, now my brain does weird shit. Like, immediately I wanted to... It, I, like, I wanted to be, like, more Nickelback immediately, like, looking at things. Look at this walking path! <laughs> there he goes. That's the walking path. Um... I get the dork in me sometimes, and I can't help it. Not the whale penis. I don't have that inside me. I always me. wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. I guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. Yeah, that drives a lot of things. Not necessarily the best thing, but... Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Does it have guns? Yes, it does. I see some, uh... Uh... uh some flash shrouds. What are they called? Flash... Uh, Bird cages. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? I just call them bird cages because I forgot the muzzle, uh, flash, muzzle, muzzle, redu muzzle, flash. <sighs> I'm sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. My heart. She stole that shirt after I put my paint. No. Deal me some of that ass. He's, he's gonna get up on that. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Goes nice. the dynamite. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Alright, what else is in here? Anything else I should... Anything else... Hide gadgets. Yeah, no, no one will notice that giant thing in the floor. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do, take this flash drive. Here. Get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Can we hug now it out? get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. She also doesn't like when people pop out of walls that you thought were solid. All right, let's see if I've been kicked out of my own company. Because that would be a nice little plot twist. Uh, I mean, they did it in the movies, kind of. It's been done before. 
and move the pieces back. Night. The dark night. I see what they did there. Mr. Wayne. Bruce. Open up. Shit did not go well. I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. We were out of options, I'm afraid. I get it. My name isn't great for business lately. I'm sorry, Bruce. It's not your fault. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. It's gotta be replaced by they someone. I already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was. <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Someone from the Charger, uh, Children of Arkham. Cobblepot. Watch it be him. Knew it! Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. Hug him. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. I saw that well, the company. board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. Mm. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Hmm. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. Uh oh. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Why'd you get mean all of a sudden? And why does he have to completely leave the building? Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, well, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Apologies, I don't know where my head was. Probably halfway out the door, mate. No worries. Yeah, yeah, that must be it. Careful clean that up, Oz. You might cut yourself. Hmm. <laughs> go cut yourself. Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'm at a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. I know you, Oswald. I know what you really are. I'm no different than you, mate. Just a hard-working citizen. Looking out for Gotham. I doubt that. This way, Bruce. Couldn't he just out him? Or does Oswald know that uh, he's bad? I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Hmm. What 
happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. And let me know if anything comes up. Hmm. Keep that drive safe. Look out for Clementine for me. All right, I think I'm about to call it for this one after this cutscene. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. No. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. Here With the we children go. of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. All right, we're gonna figure out what their next main, um, what their next move is in the next one. So uh, it's probably gonna be a three-parter because I'm still uh, under the weather, still trying to not be sick, but hopefully I'm on uh, the men. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Um, hey, there are new annotation things to put at the end of video, so I gotta remember to uh, do that. Uh, but um, other than that. Uh, do the normal talk to me about what you think about the story. They really are going away from the comic books um, Oswald, okay, so the penguin always is kind of like the king of the underground and it's kind of is the gentleman criminal But it's never a point in time where he takes over Wayne Enterprises Wayne is more or less been at, asked to step down more as a movie plot device uh, Than ever a comic plot device so to bring it into this as as a reason and for his parents to be corrupt is a big deal. I like the fact that they are trying something new. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing with trying something new. I enjoy a new story. I don't know why people that are such giant fans always want to see exactly what they already saw. That might sound hypocritical if you've watched me play Attack on Titan, where I get uh, like a bit of critical about how they're not showing some things. But here's the thing. Um, I'm being critical because they are using uh, the first season of the anime uh, which the first season of the anime uses the manga pretty much exclusively as its blueprints for how events go. So if you're going to use something as a blueprint in the first, and I say that because uh, they've already announced season two is going to be going off the rails uh, of using, it's going to make a departure from the manga uh, in quite a few different ways, they said. So if you're going to use something as a blueprint, I expect things to be in there, but when they use it as a guideline, like they've been doing in these episodes of Batman, they've used his backstory as, a, yeah, they've used it as a guideline. The main set characters are there, and their general personalities are there. But the events that unravel are completely different, and the character of uh, Thomas and Martha Wayne has never been com uh, really explored all that much other than saying that they were good people that tried to do things for the downtrodden citizens of Gotham, and were killed by one of the uh, said downtrodden citizens. So it's kind of a bit of an ironic death for them. Uh, in this case, they've kind of taken the blueprint and said, and we're gonna just, this is just an idea, a starting point. When I love it when they use it as a starting point and go off on their own. I don't understand why people hate a new storyline. I mean, it's a new storyline. Uh, I've seen this game get a, a lot of bad reviews because it's, because they're changing things. Did you really just want to see the same thing you've already seen in a movie and a few different comics and TV shows and cartoons and all this other jazz? Did you really just want to see the same thing over and over? Um, you know, tell, tell, tell us tell, tell, tell is telling a new story and it's intriguing and it's captivating and it makes you stay in focus because it's different. 
So I enjoy different, and they're doing it well. I don't enjoy different when it's like uh, the work piss poor fanfic written by somebody who's never read a Batman comic in their life. Like that kind of work would, would drive me nuts. But this is like the opposite. They've they've done their homework. They know what they're doing, uh, and they're and they're weaving quite a good tale. So I like it. I'm enjoying it. Um, I do not see why people are not liking it. It's just, it's well done. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna sign off for right now. I really do hope you're enjoying yourself because this is worth enjoying. So I hope you enjoy yourself and I hope to see you back here really, really soon. Bye.